So this time um, I want to show you how to assign an order to a driver to track its progress, receive the proof of delivery, chat with the driver, all that stuff. So essentially the combination of orders and the fleet module. So let's jump right to it. Let's calculate a simple tour from Berlin and Germany to Warsaw and Poland. All right. <clears throat> now save it as an order. This is in the top bar, create new order, the big orange button. All we have to give him here is just the reference number. So let's call that ref example. The rest is optional. Also bear in mind the comments that you give here. So for example, um, when in Warsaw, drive to ramp three and call and then some random phone number, whatever. Um, those are the comments that your driver can see in his app afterwards. So if you want to give him something on his way, just enter it here and he can check it. Let's save the order. It will now appear in your orders module. There it is. Ref example status is open. And we want to change that because um, we wanted to deliver it like the ones below here. So let's go to fleet. So <clears throat> our driver, Jan Müller, currently stationed in Berlin, um, which is actually also me just with my smartphone, but let's just assume it's the driver. Um, we will assign the order to him with that assign order button. Assign existing order, you can also create one, but let's assign an existing one. And here you have all the orders, but you can quickly find them if you just search um, by reference. So ref example, order is assigned. You see that the status turns to, uh, the, the arrow turns to blue. And I'm just got a, or Jan Müller just got a notification on this one. I got an order assigned, so when I, Jan Müller, as a driver in the truck, now press start. So yeah, it looks something like this, but just try it out yourself. When I now press start, you will see the arrow turns green and this order assign status um, changes to order started. So you always have an overview um, which one of your orders are currently conducted. Let's quickly go through it. Um, <clears throat> of course, usually we would have more than one connected device. Um, you can track its location here. Um, it's currently in Berlin. Also, um, the estimated time of arrival, 9 hours, 21 minutes. The, the closer you get to the, the destination, the more accurate this gets. Um, I can chat with the driver. So, for example, please park in Stettin or whatever. Um, so you do not have to switch back and forth on WhatsApp. Um, yeah, the message came to my phone. I can answer. Okay, boss. I will do that. All right. So let's assume um, Jan Müller has reached the destination, is in Warsaw on the ramp, called the correct number, and now um, has unloaded his truck. So what you as a dispatcher want is an instant, um, instant proof of delivery. So um, what Jan Müller, the driver, can just do is open his app, say stop the order, and upload a proof of delivery. So I will select that on the phone. And now I have an example document lying in front of me. Um, so usually this would be the um, proof of delivery. There it is. Now I press send on the phone and as you can see um, the order stopped because it has been delivered you also get a timestamp and when we now um, open orders the status has changed to delivered and when we now open the we have the POD directly in here there it is took seconds and, and um, you know your order has been delivered correctly